What's up everyone, Matt from Nerdy Review here. Today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to change the Bowden tube on your Ender 3. So changing the Bowden tube is a relatively easy process and you will have to do it from time to time. Uh, the Bowden tube will dry out because it's plastic and it might become cracked or just more brittle and eventually the brittleness can lead to it becoming cracked. Uh, for me, what I did was just misuse and abuse. Uh, I was trying to, after fixing a clogged nozzle, I had to replace my Bowden tube and I was trying to push it down more and I just couldn't quite get a grip on it because it's kind of slippery. So I tried to use a pair of pliers to push it down in more and I squeezed it a little bit and crunched it and filament can't go in now. So I have to change it. So here I am doing a video tutorial. All right, so the first step is just, if you can, you can try to depress this and just pull the tube out. So you see this little coupling here? It'll, it'll press in a little bit. And once you have it squeezed in, you can pull the tube out. But chances are, it's not just gonna pull out very easy. It's uh, very uncommon for it to pull out easy. So I'm gonna show you a easy way to get it out, which I actually got from my partner, Rob the Destroyer. So what we do here is take a pair of channel locks and hold this here. And then use the frame of your printer to depress it. Then you can take a second pair of pliers and yank it out. And that's an easy way to put a lot of force on it so you can yank it out of there. So save this because as long as yours is good and not broken, you will reuse this. And then to remove the front one, all you gotta do is take the wrench that your Ender 3 came with and depress this coupling once again, and then pull the tube out. Now what I'm gonna do is a little bit tricky, but because I don't have any more zip ties here at home with me, I have more at the shop, but not here at home, and not all of our viewers who are doing this, you know, replacing their Bowden tube will have more zip ties. So if you don't, what you can do is just keep the ones you have on there and just pull this old tube out, okay? And later on, when we have our new tube ready, we're just gonna feed it through there. So what I'm gonna do is take this tube and then I'm gonna take our new tube, which I got a meter of for like six bucks on Amazon. So it's really cheap, you get a lot, stock up on it. Um, take this tube and take the old one and I'm just gonna line them up for size. And then I'm gonna use my utility knife to make a little guide mark. Okay, so I got this handy Sheffield here, which I'm not being paid by them to advertise, but I totally would because I love their products. Now, the reason I'm gonna recommend using a box cutter or a utility knife for this is because you don't wanna use like a pair of, uh, say like wire snippers or anything because it'll crunch the tube and it'll lose its circular shape, which is really important for the whole Bowden tube aspect that it has that circular shape. Pick that up quick. And then once you have your new tube ready, we can begin by feeding it through. And I suspect this will maybe be a little bit tight to get through here, you know, but I think we should be able to do it. There we go. Got one through. And then I'm gonna feed it through most of the way so that I have more room to bend and flex it. And then I'm gonna squeeze it through the next one. And there we go. And then I'm gonna take my wrench again that the printer came with. And I'm going to depress that. And make sure you squeeze this tube all the way down until it hits your nozzle. If you don't squeeze it all the way down, you're gonna end up getting under extrusion problems. Okay, then we're gonna take this coupling that you removed in the initial process we're going to insert this one in. Should be a relatively quick and easy process. All right, and so that's it for the Bowden tube replacement. Like I said, it's a relatively qu quick process and it's pretty easy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try not to do too much, just quick and to the point. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and a subscribe, and that's it. Thank you very much.